Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. And it's just getting worse and worse for Dan Wooten. Now, we're not just getting people who had relationships with him or who had certain meetings with him, but now we're actually getting into famous people who are actually bringing him into certain things and they're actually accusing Dan Wooten of doing certain things. Now, Lily Allen has accused Dan Wooten of bullying and constant surveillance as allegations emerge. The broadcaster has denied any criminality following the accusations. Lily Allen has accused Dan Wooten of bullying and constant surveillance following new criminal accusations against him emerging. As reported by the BBC, recent reports have included claims of the journalist offering media colleagues thousands of pounds for explicit material of themselves and led to an online campaign to have him cancelled. The broadcaster who has worked for The Sun, News of the World, Mail Online and appeared as the showbiz correspondent on ITV's Lorraine has admitted making errors of judgment in the past but has denied all allegations of criminality. Publishers of The Sun and Mail Online have both confirmed that they are looking into the accusations raised against him and Wooten has claimed that he has become a victim of a witch hunt. But these past few days, I've been the target of a smear campaign by nefarious players with an axe to grind. I, like all voluble human beings, have made errors of judgment in the past, but the criminal allegations being made against me are simply untrue. I would like nothing more than to address those spurious claims. I could actually spend the next two hours doing so, but on the advice of my lawyers, I cannot comment further. One thing I do want to say as well with all of this is, remember he said people are trying to bring GB News down. Well, sorry Dan, GB News wasn't around three years ago when all these people started investigating you. Yeah? No? What have you got to say about that, Dan? You're not going to say anything because you are literally, you didn't even think of it. You didn't even think three years ago, well, four years ago with some of these, that, oh, GB News wasn't even a thing back then. So that just goes to show he's lying and he's trying to bring people on his side from GB News. But GB News, don't fall for it. Following the allegations, pop star and actress Lily Allen took to Twitter and claimed that she faced bullying and constant surveillance from him. She made the comments in the tweet and shared a screenshot of one of Wooten's updates, which uh, contained an image of the Sun's headline page showing her reportedly unconscious at Glastonbury along with the headline, Wasted. There we go. Literally, this is what he does. And when they go on and say, oh, he's not like that, what's this? And it does go on to say, whilst I'm able to take responsibility for my own actions, I can hand on heart say that a big part of the reason I would get myself into these states was because of the relentless bullying and constant surveillance and scrutiny this man had me under for no reason. Anyway, Cam is a bitch. I couldn't be happier this time in my life. Absolutely thriving. So that's just one thing that this man does. You know, he literally, the front page... Just because an, uh, you know, a singer was out at a part, well, a festival, where thousands of people get like this. Oh, no. Oh, look, it's Alan. Let's take a photo of her. Her comment about scrutiny seems to allude to various news uh, lines by UK tabloids, which are often centred around her struggles with addiction. The 37-year-old musician has been open about her struggles with addiction in the past, particularly when she detailed her alcohol and this abuse in her 2020 memoir, My Thoughts Exactly. She also revealed that she is four years sober in an interview earlier this year and said her life has changed so much because of it. Then, she shared a second update earlier today, so July the 18th, clarifying that she did not intend to appear as if she were blaming Wooten for her dependencies. Well, no, I didn't get that. And instead wanted to explain how harassment from the media impacted her and many others. And this is what she wrote. Following on from my tweet yesterday, I see that some think I was blaming Dan Wooten for my dependencies. I don't expect people to understand the pain associated with being harassed in the very public way that I was for a good 15 years. But just because you can't understand it doesn't mean that it didn't happen. She also made reference to Peaches Geldof, Amy Winehouse 
and Caroline Flack as having been bullied and abused, subject to the same kind of harassment that I and many others were because of the media culture at the time. Yeah, Dan Wooten did the majority of all of that. Dan Wooten last night claimed he is a victim of a smear campaign by nefarious players and an axe to grind. The irony is not lost on me. Maybe now Dan can begin to understand what it felt like. Exactly. I actually wish him well. I hope that he comes out the other side of whatever it is that he's facing, and that eventually it leads him to a place of happiness, peace, and truth. Wooten then continues to deny all claims raised against him, and has not yet commented on the statements made by Alan. This is a developing story. Yeah, like we said, he's been accused. These are at this moment in time, they are just allegations. But like we've said, the police, Scotland Yard, Metropolitan Police, they have a 28-page dossier. And remember now, Scotland Yard, they've been knowing about this since 2018, maybe even longer than that. But you've got the Byline Times. You've got the independent people as well. You've got the Guardian. All these places have been doing separate investigations into Dan Wooten. Why would they be doing investigations for such a long period of time if they haven't found anything? Obviously, with what's been happening recently in this year in the news here in the UK with um, Philip Schofield, with Hugh Edwards, and a host of others, they're probably like, right, this guy's a hypocrite. He's doing all of this against people who, by the way, Hugh Edwards did not commit a crime. Creepy? Yes. Did he commit a crime? No. Now, Philip Schofield, that's a different kettle of fish completely because of the young age the boy was when he first met him. But with Dan Wooten, he's been doing this for decades, literally for decades. And to see that now you've got pop stars and actresses and other people coming out as well. Famous people, like I said at the start of the video, people who just didn't have chance encounters or meetings or were in a relationship with him. We are talking about people that Dan Wooten, he did it on purpose to get into their lives, to make their lives hell, to put them on the front page of papers and be like, oh, look at this. Basically, because this here, to me, that is Dan Wooten just putting that there and going, oh, look at this. What a sad, wasteful time. Look at her. Ha, ha, ha. She's gone. She's blottoed. She's passed out. Ha, ha, ha. That's what it is. But you know what, Dan? Like Lily said, now you should be feeling exactly what all these people did. You know? They felt absolutely... They must have felt terrible, obviously. And with Lily Allen saying that she was continuous being harassed and she was just under constant surveillance. Hell, yesterday's video I showed you an excerpt from April of this year from the High Court who was doing still an investigation into the phone hacking when Wooten was at News of the World and at The Sun, and you got Rebecca Brooks saying and sending emails to all people, yeah, if we have to get stories by illegal means, do it. Yeah, that's not right. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. Let me know what you think about all of this down below, and I'll see you soon.